Hey everyone, uh, this is John Lynn with Intercoastal Mortgage and today we have Felicia Denman, Realtor Extraordinaire and VA Buyer Specialist with us who is an Air Force veteran for eight years, right? That's right. Awesome. So welcome. Thank you and thank you for having me, John. I'm going to just jump right into it. Since we're here to talk about VA loans, tell me what makes VA buyers different. VA buyers are different because I believe there's a lot of different moving parts if they're active duty. And, um, you know, in the military, it's about getting things done. So, um, you know, once we get through a lot of the initial pleasantries, it's about can you get the job done and how efficiently can, because there's, you know, you, you probably PCS multiple times in your life, right? Right, twice. Twice. Right. So a lot of things, uh, a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. Got it. So what is the difference between a VA loan and conventional loans? On the surface, there's probably not a ton different big picture. Uh, similar uh, requirements, but VA loans, one of the cool things is you could go to 100% financing, you could put zero down. Um, there's no mortgage insurance. Uh, it takes place in a different form unless you have a disability rating. Um, and one of the one of the best things is that a lot of the a lot of the requirements are actually a little bit more lenient on VA loans. That is awesome. So, since they're pretty much the same, what is the benefit of using your VA loan as a veteran over a conventional loan? I think one of the big factors is that you could put zero down on a house, and you know I think that for a lot of buyers, putting the down payment is the is the primary obstacle. Like, you know, for conventional loans, uh, for a first time home buyer, you could put 3% down. But 3% in the DC area, that's still a big chunk of change. Right. 0% down, definitely. that's a huge benefit. Definitely. And I know there's a lot of misconceptions about VA loans, especially mm -hmm. in the real estate industry. Can you tell us some general things that we should know about VA loans? Yeah, I think one of the big things is people think that you can use your VA loan only once. And, um, and that's something that, you know, I always tell people, come talk to somebody before you're ready to buy so that you know all the ins and outs. So that's one of them. Okay. I think one of the cool things that you can actually buy more than one home with your VA loan at the same time. Like I own two homes with my own VA loan and it's a great way to build wealth if you're moving to the DC area because of multiple reasons uh, why the DC area is a very valuable place. Okay, and something that I hear a lot is that it takes longer to close a VA loan. Is that true? Well, maybe you can tell me. You and I did a VA loan very recently. How long did it take to close? It took three weeks. <laughs> it might have even been less than that, right? Right, probably so, maybe 18 days. Yeah. yeah. So they, uh, they, they can close very quickly if you have a lender that is well-versed in VA loans. So is it the lender that's taking longer or is it just the nature of the loan when people believe that the VA loan takes longer? One piece of it is one of the documents, if you're active duty, that you need is something called a statement of service. Okay. And you have to go request it from your command. And if you do it early enough, then if I have it with my pre-approval, then it doesn't take any longer than, than normal. Okay. Um, so I always tell people, get that statement of service up front if you're active duty. So the statement of service is something that the veteran needs to get themselves. Is that something that you can assist them with? I'll send them a form letter, like a, like a sample, and if they bring that to their S1 or admin, um, then they can, they'll know exactly what needs to be on a statement of service. Another thing that I often hear is that um, sellers are afraid there are going to be a lot of additional costs when they are working with a VA buyer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if that's true? And if there are additional costs, what would they be? Actually, this, was, this is something new about VA loans. Uh, one of the additional costs is a termite inspection or wood destroying insect inspection is required and then remediation as well. But in some places of the United States right now, and this is as of June of this year, the veteran can negotiate who pays the, the wood destroying inspection. And in, in the past, it was required by the seller to do it. So that's something that sellers no longer have to worry about. It's, it's just a part of the negotiations now. Thank you for coming and asking these questions. I think it's a very valuable resource for Thank you for our, having me. Welcome. Um, for all of you out there, if you are a veteran or if you're PCSing and you want to learn more, please reach out to Felicia or myself and we'd be happy to assist you.